Joining us now is our CMP Superintendent Rob Lassen, officer in charge of major crime services for Manitoba, and uh, you saw him earlier in that news conference. Uh, Superintendent, uh, you, you talked about just how difficult this is for everybody, including uh, your own officers. What are you hearing from them? Yes, that's right. Um, I'm getting continual briefings from the officers who are on scene, but before I, st before I start, I want to extend on behalf of the RCMP in Manitoba the condolences to the victim's family. This is a terrible day uh, for Manitoba, especially when it's affecting such a small community to lose 15 people in circumstances like this. In regards to our members on scene, as you can, go ahead, sorry. No, no, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Please go ahead. Uh, just in regards to our, our members on scene, as you can understand, this is a very tragic circumstances with a lot of unfolding events, a lot of prioritization that needs to take place. This is very hard for our officers. And from my personal experience, uh, nothing like this has happened in Manitoba where we've lost this number of people in one single uh, fatal um, motor vehicle accident. Yeah, and, and, you know, it's been pointed out and it came out in the news conference as well, Humboldt, uh, not long ago, not far away. I was one of the reporters covering that and uh, the echoes between those two tragedies and the huge impact, obviously, very much in people's minds. Uh, you, you talked about one of the, the roles the RCMP has here is to determine whether this was simply an accident or a crime. Um, I know you don't want to prejudge anything, but I think you can answer this. What are you looking at in terms of deciding whether it might be a crime or not? Right, so very good question. And part of our role is to determine exactly that. So we have specialized investigators that attend the scene, everything from major crime investigators, traffic reconstructionists um, that thoroughly examine the scene and gather all the evidence. And, and we make a continual assessment on that. Um, what we're looking for is all sorts of evidence. Uh, video in today's day and age is very important. So that'll be one of the key things that our investigators are looking to secure. And we'll be reviewing any, in, any video. We'll be talking to witnesses, uh, people driving by that possibly saw what happened and taking statements from them and capturing their accounts. Have you had a chance, or at least your officers, have they had a chance to speak to either of the two drivers? Uh, not yet, they haven't. No, they're, they're still recovering. And uh, what about others who have been taken to hospital uh, who were injured? Are, have any of them been able to talk to investigators? Not yet. Our primary focus for them is their well-being and treatment in hospital. Once they become stable in consultation with, uh, with health services uh, or their medical services, then we'll approach them to interview them. Superintendent, we have probably about a minute left. Um, one of the you know, terrible things in this tragedy filled with terrible things is is identifying those who have died and giving that information to their relatives um, where are you at in that process have any of the next of kin been notified no not yet this is a very ongoing process and we work very close with the manitoba medical examiner's office because this is something we have to make sure we get right it has to be accurate before we start uh, confirming any uh, next of kin notifications we don't want to make that mistake so it's and goal. so all of a sudden your officers have been thrust in the middle of this terrible tragedy. So many roles you're playing. Just 30 seconds left, Superintendent, but what's the biggest challenge for the RCMP tonight? The biggest challenge for us uh, personally as an officer on the scene is to keep emotions in check. There's a lot of emotion even for our officers attending like something like this. This doesn't happen every day. We deal with a lot of tragedy, uh, a lot of hurt in our profession, but seeing something like this is unexplainable. And with that, also uh, working with the people on scene and the other first responders is just to make sure we can collectively move the investigation forward, uh, you know, controlling witnesses, working with the families and all of our partners, just to make sure we address it in a collaborative effort. Well, we so appreciate you taking the time to speak with us uh, tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. RCMP Superintendent Rob Lassen.